All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Abby, for actually introducing me to this other end. I'm um, actually at the exhibition, so we have different manufacturers who are doing different uh, activities. And right now, I want to walk to a very interesting uh, stand. First of all, I don't know if this is a, a Spanish name, La Miguela Kenya. <laughs> Ka Please clarify this for us. Is this La Miguela Kenya? Is it Spanish or which name is this? This is a Mexican name. But it's a, it's a holding company name that is here in Kenya, that is doing business here in Kenya. So we are proudly saying that this is a Kenyan name. All right. Please tell us what exactly is going around uh, your tent. I can see you with Allied Fire. Are we planning to light some fire over here or actually calm down some fire? Uh, in in in, uh, in instance of fire, we have a solution here. This is the new and the most exciting way to put off fire. It's called uh, Allied Fireball. Uh, this is an innovation from Thailand that we have here in Kenya. So we are doing a plant here in Kenya. We plan to be doing production here in Kenya. It's supposed to put off fire. This is 1.5 kilograms. That is the weight. What you do uh, in incidence of fire, you're supposed to throw it where the pass the, the power source uh, the power source is. Uh, or you mount it on the wall. The beauty of it is self-activating, so you do not necessarily need to be there. So you only need to mount it on the wall using this bracket. So in incidence of fire, it will only sense fire and uh, it goes off. And that happens within 3 to 10 seconds. That's the beauty of it. Let me also ask you, yes. uh, many ma manufacturers have been talking about the fact that there's no market. Mm -hmm. So have you been able to establish a, a, a particular market in Kenya so far? Like where do you actually sell this allied fire? Uh, Allied Fireballs. Yes. I, I need you to cut that name. <laughs> uh, the beauty of this, and this is something that we proudly say, is that uh, our product cuts across all market because we are going to big institutions, we are going to schools. This is the, the solution to the inferno in schools that is happening currently. We are going to county governments. This is the solution to this would have been the best solution for the Gekomba fire. We are going to the, the, the personal individual capacity for homesteads. You need several, one for the kitchen, one for the common area, one for the runaway, because in incidents of fire, people will first tend to panic and run away. So it needs to be somewhere accessible that you can pick it and throw it to the fire source or mounted uh, in the fire prone areas. Yes. Uh, we have some someone out there who's actually watching this from KTN News right now wow. who do want to have such a to actually have such an innovation. So what exactly do you guys do or what does someone need to have such an item? Uh, this one the, the magic of this is uh, it doesn't need any uh, any training. You only need to know how to throw it to fire source. So anyone who is out there watching, you do not need any training. And if you order, we will come to your place. We will do the the survey to show you where you can mount it. So anyone out there, this is uh, it's so easy to use. It's so easy to use. Yes. Ah, uh, thank you so much, sir. Abby, Abby, if you can actually walk to this other end, we have a Kenya flower. This is a flower exhibition stand, and we have quite a number of flowers, roses. I've been a uh, cauliflower, I guess, and in this particular tent we are joined with two young traders. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us in KTN News. You're live on KTN News. Hi, hello. Yes. Welcome to Kenya Flower Council Stand. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, we yes. are happy here to be here for Kenya Trade Week. We are sh so, uh, showcasing a variety of flowers that we have right now. If you look uh, on my right side, we have the lilies. Behind me, we have some uh, red roses and uh, also we have the pink roses, all grown by Kenya flower growers. Let me ask you, what does it take to, to be established in this flower industry? Uh, you just have to comply with our own standard, that the Kenya standard 1758. But if you are a member of Kenya Flower Council, you just have to abide by Kenya uh, KFC 4 standard that has been benchmarked to the national standard. Yes. All right. I'm actually seeing some statistics on this other end of Kenya Flower Council Quality Assure, the Kenya Flower Industry. Would you mind please clarify to us what this really stands for, uh, for the Kenya Flower Council? The 82.3 billion, that's the value of uh, floriculture exports as at December 2017. And the 1.06% is the GDP contribution by the floriculture industry in Kenya as of 2017. Yeah. So to my last question, what does it take to be well established in this horticulture industry in terms of flowers? 
uh, as long as you comply to the Kenya standard, which basically is caring for people uh, and the environment, then you are good to go. Yes. Thank you so much. Abi, it is quite an interesting uh, session that is happening here at the exhibition. For now, I want to throw the ball back to you and then we're going to take a 